Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm a general practitioner working in Greater Manchester, UK. This video is super important. Flu season is coming and setting up your F12 EMIS protocol is super easy. Uh, this is something that I didn't have last year, so I'm a little bit bitter about that. Let's make sure that we share this with all of our fellow GPs and practice nurses. Anyone who's going to be doing the flu jabs this year, make sure they have this set up. It's a massive time saver. Let's get straight into it. All you have to do is go on to EMIS, click on the top left EMIS button, go down to configuration, template manager. And this is the screen that you're going to see. Go on to your practice. I work at the Gill Medical Practice. Click new folder. Let's call this the F12 EMIS flu protocol. Super easy. And then we go to add protocol. This is the screen you're going to see. You start with adding a multiple choice question. In this bit, just write which injection site. So is it going to be the uh, left arm, uh, right arm, oops, or cancel, obviously, if it was a mistake. So if you double click on this, you'll be able to move it around. Just bring it under the start button, connect them. Next, what you want to do is you want to add an action node. This is where the flu jab comes in. Add data, use the magnifying glass. Typically, the flu vaccine is under 65 ED. Again, you have a few options here. I'm going to choose the first one. Let's say the manufacturer is Pfizer. Choose an expiry date, patch number, GMS. And again, we're going to do one for the left arm. We're going to do one for the right arm. This is the left arm. Click OK. Again, if you double click here, you can move that around. And then you want to connect the left arm with this. You have to do a second one for the right arm. Again, add data, just bring that underneath. Magnifying glass, 65 ED. Choose the first one. Again, same manufacturer, expiry date. Let's get the batch number here, GMS. And this is gonna be for the right arm. So what you can do, double click here, bring it underneath. You want to connect the right arm to this one. Then you go down to decision nodes. You want to add the end protocol that will kind of end the protocol um, and just connect your left arm, your right arm and your cancel. Save and close. Pretty straightforward. Now all you have to do is name it. We can do a separate one for the nasal flu. We can do a separate one for under 65s and a separate one for over 65s. Let's say that this is going to be our over 65s. All you have to do is save. There it is. Now let's go into a consultation. This is Tilly Tester, which is our test patient. Add consultation, right? She comes in, we do the jab, consent. So instead of manually having to put in the flu jab, batch number, expiry date, just click F12. This is your protocol launcher. Select and launch. You wanna to go to the F12 EMIS flu protocol, over 65. Let's say it's the left arm, click on left arm. Done. Sorted. The last thing I'll mention is that say you have two batches, what you can do is you could just create two protocols. When you get the flu vaccine in front of you, check the batch number and then just choose the appropriate protocol. That's it. Really straightforward. Please make sure that you share with your fellow GPs and practice nurses. Let's make sure that no one this flu season is having to manually data input, right? That's it, guys. If you have any issues, please leave them in the comments below. You can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.